Well, the next radio we're going to do is a the brand new CRT two thousand. I've not seen one of these before, and uh, Mark alerted me to it, so we bought one, and we'll see what we can make of it. Okay, so back to the CRT two thousand now out of its box, and what to, we can we see there? It's thirteen point eight to twenty four volts. So number two two seven. Hmm. Now the other thing that's hit me straight away on this, we well, used this in the business radio industry, but it's what's known as a modular plug. It's not the normal kind of four pin or six pin plug. So just plug that in the front like that, and we'll switch it on. We've got a full colour display, and it boots up on. EU channel 20. So the first thing we need to do is to set that up for UK frequencies. So we'll just have a quick look at the instruction book. Right, well if you can hear electric guitars in the next room, that's because Mr C's testing guitar amplifiers in the next room. So we've now set this for UK channel 20, that's three microvolts on the signal generator and the way that was done was to switch it on holding the function button so hold the function button switch it on keep your finger on the function button yeah in fact I'll go through that kind of um, we'll switch it off so there's the function button switch it on and then we press the you press the uh, this button in the, the change button do we have to press and hold it I did. Yeah. Yes, he pressed and held it. And there we have it. Yeah. And can we toggle between with that? Yes, you, the, the program button, if you yeah. press. Um, it's P, all programmable anyway, so, so we're now on you UK. Can do it for side buttons, P1, you can do it for, you can do it for whatever you desire, which yeah. is quite good, really. So we can now see it says 27791 UK. C20 channel 20 which you is can actually out. change that display to read channel or frequency out as well even better you can program everything with it yes including when you do scan on this you can actually lock some channels out like you might want not want to listen to the Muppets on 19 right so um, having done that we're going to open it up and we'll go through the transmit adjustments There's not really much to show you here there aren't many adjustments at all and the first one we're going to do is power and I've determined that the second one along which is W3 there second from the right is the power control so it's doing a full 4 watts and we've also determined but it affects the power as well to some extent that W2 appears to be the power meter we've got that set now so when we press transmit we're getting four, which is what we should have. So it's doing four watts into the RF meter. It's drawing 1.8 amps on that. So uh, it's not one of those sets that draws 1.1 amps. It's quite hefty. Now deviation will set up. We'll get the oscillator out. Just going to transmit. Quick whistle test about 1.8. So it's the one to the left through that hole. Wallow. Wallow. So we'll just. It doesn't set up like a lot, do 1.9 on the tone and 2.4 on the whistle so that's I'll just show you a bit easier hopefully I'll just try and zoom in down that hole yes so you've got the ceramic filter just there and the preset to the left is FM deviation so looking again at these we seem to have got transmit power there 
and we seem to have got the power meter set there. I'm only going to do the ones which we need to do, so don't ask me where AM mod is. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to reprogram onto the CE band or whatever we need to be on, and we're not interested in doing that. I'll no doubt somebody else will cover that in a video of their own. So there you are. This uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can say about this. It's uh, it's now on channel twenty UK twenty seven seven nine one two five. It's transmitting properly. So now we're back to the receive section of the CRT T two CRT T two thousand. Signal generators are 0.3 of a micro. The squelch is defeated. So well. Of course, there's no adjustments, are there? So the sensitivity is the sensitivity. That's 0 0.3 microvolts. 0 0.2, something like that. So let's see how the squelch performs. Switch the signal generator off. Set the squelch to threshold. That squash setting one is digital. And it comes straight in at 0 0.3. Well, you can't argue for anything better than that. So let's set the squash to full, which is 28. That's the maximum. Eight is 28. So we'll set the signal generator. And it comes in at just beyond plus 30, so that's fair enough. We always like to check that they do open at some point. There's nothing worse than a radio where you set the squash to full and there's no signal, however strong, will ever open it. So there we go. So I can't argue with that. So let's set S9 and see how the S meter is performing at that level. So. We'll turn the squelch. I'll just zoom out a bit, you can't see it like that. So it's a matter of pressing the squelch, P5, and then adjusting it down to where we want it to be. I'll just set it to 2, like that. And we've got between S7 and S9, so we'd like that to be a bit higher than that. So let's find the preset to do that. Right, well, we can't spot an adjustment for the RF meter. It leads a bit uh, less than we would have liked. Um, it needs to be a bit more than S9 for it to show S9. So you'd say that was a lazy needle. But it's one of these sets where it's got lots of things programmable. It's got the RF gain on the front panel, which is programmable. It's the built-in SWR meter. Some people might find all this cumbersome though. It's not something you'd really want mobile, is it? And quickly have to adjust uh, the squelch. But I think some of these presets can be uh, addressed to make those functions happen quickly. So there you have it. There's nothing really I can say about the receiver, but it works very well indeed. We've got it receiving to down to. Uh, well, it was not 0 0.2 of a microvolt. So there you are. So not a lot I can say, except it works well on the bench. So we'll do a on-the-air test and see how it works uh, uh, with a field test. Thanks for watching.